I think your country is leapfrogging other countries in uh, establishing rights for transgender. Mm -hmm. um, in that there is a on the passports, I, I believe the, there'll be room for a third sex. Third gender, yeah, third sex. What is it in Nepal's uh, background uh, that has allowed it to, as I said, leapfrog other countries in providing? It's a it's a very uh, traditional, uh, you know, concept. It's not new to South Asia, the, the concept of third sex or third genders. We have, uh, you know, a lot of deities in Hinduism, Buddhism, who identify themselves third gender, third sex. And um, when we uh, were arguing in the court, the court had a lot of questions around homosexuality but not, not many questions around third genders because it was accepted in the society. They were visible. It just they did never had a respectful, dignified life. But they were accepted and invited for certain festivities and festivals. So it was not a big deal at all uh, for us. And uh, because um, we also, uh, you know, the, the, the the community third gender are happy with their body, are happy with their intellect, are happy with their mind, identity, everything. So they didn't want it to be called transgender and do go through bodily modification. Uh, they just wanted to be recognized uh, as different they are from men and women. So it's the third gender. And the court, uh, you know, easily accepted that and ordered government to issue citizenship ID passport for third genders. Why do you think there's such a difference between in the West, where it's it's uh, this physical imperative to change the physical makeup of your body, whether it's removing your breasts or, you know, uh, whatever? What what do you think is the difference? I think it's the uh, schooling of, uh, you know. Um, gender component, the West strongly believes in binary gender concepts only, men and women. So that's how you have to be trans from one to other uh, if you're not fit in one as a sign at birth. Uh, so, you know, third genders are uh, in Nepal, you know, accepted. It just uh, have cultural roles. Um, so the West, you know, people from, from, from early age, uh, uh, you have to be man or woman. So that's why to be woman and man, it's also again very uh, directly linked to your uh, sexual anatomy, sexual organ. So they have to go through this. Uh, they, they feel tremendous pressure to modify uh, so that they can truly uh, you know, become someone they, uh, they may feel closer. So, becoming woman or becoming man. And we, in, in South Asia, in Nepal, we don't want to become anybody else. We are who we are, and we just want to be recognized that. And, uh, you know, the body and the, and the mind, the concept, it's all natural to us who we are. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.